With the DJ Pro 5.0 update, we get a whole new view mode, and in this video, I'm going to show you all about it. So to access this new view mode, we're going to press the middle button up here. That is still the same. And, but what's different, you might have been used to the kind of strip where you could switch the view modes. They rearranged the menu. I think it's, it, it's better, but it's going to take some getting used to. So starter is going to be the first one up here. So we're going to press starter. And this is what you get. You get two, two jog wheels or record decks. You get BPM control. You get a crossfader mixer. This is not a regular crossfader. I will get into that. You can obviously choose your song, choose your playlist. You get a play and pause. There's no Q button like we're used to getting there. And then we have this middle section. You press this middle section. We have our pad effects. We have our instant effects, and then we have our, our samples. So who is this for? Why would we get a stripped down version of basically of classic mode? And what's the point of this? So first of all, anyone, if you're like me, when you start DJing, when you, if you see all of these, uh, all of these knobs, all of these switches, all of these buttons, it may get overwhelming. Just like your first time getting into a car, you look at the dashboard and there's all these crazy things, buttons and all this, then you realize that you don't have to use most of them. So I think that's what they were going for. So for someone that never started DJing before, it still looks like DJing. You got the crossfader thing and then the spinny things, but there's nothing really else there to distract you. So this is made so you could log into your streaming service or whatever you use for DJing, load up a playlist and start having fun DJing today, like right now, right when you download the app without practicing for months and actually learning the, uh, learning all the fundamentals of DJing. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think it's great. Well, I think it's great for people to start DJing, whether it's just for a hobby or just for something to do to entertain themselves. And this makes it so much more accessible to so many more people. So in order to transition from one song to another, we're going to be using uh, the new feature, which is the cross crossfader effects. So instead of the crossfader, just simply blending the song, for, blending the tracks from the left to, left to right, it's going to apply effects and it's going to match the tempos together. So it's going to do a perfect transition depending on which one that you choose. So there's a filter dissolve, a tremolo, there's all of these. I highly recommend you testing these out on your own, listening to what they all sound like so you know which transitions you're gonna to wanna to use them for. And then there's also neural mix ones too, but you cannot use the neural, neural mix ones if you have a song from Tidal loaded up. So for this example, I am gonna just simply put on the filter effects. So now when this song ends, I'm just gonna play the other song. And remember, this does not choose where you're going to do the mixes. All it does is it triggers the mixes, syncs the songs together, blends the tempo together. So you still have to know the songs that you're playing, or at least try to guess and do these transitions at the right time. If you're using this setting and using these crossfader effects, your only responsibility is, is triggering the effects at the correct time. So I'm gonna, when this song ends, this song ends, I am going to blend it into the other one. So this song is ending. So there we go, that's a simple transition. It sounds really great. They program this software, it works really well. So just know where you're doing your transitions and then they'll do it for you. I made a separate video on these crossfader effects, so I'll just show you one more. Uh, lunar echo, whatever that means. So it does sound pretty good. Now, I just want to show you a little bit of these effects because it's a little bit different than the effects we're used to in pro mode and classic mode. So the first one is going to be the it's going to be the pad. This is good. Uh, I'll put a flanger on. So you have the song playing. And high is going to 
be a high pass filter, low is gonna be low pass filter, and you can manipulate the song by moving your finger along this pad. It's really cool. So this effect is going to be for wherever the crossfader is. So if the crossfader is all the way to the right, it's gonna do the right deck. If it's all the way all the way to the left, it's gonna control the left deck. But if the crossfader is in the middle, For some reason, it's only gonna control the left deck, so it's a little bit weird. It might be a bug that they're gonna fix, but keep that in mind if you plan on using this. And then to access all your other effects is this drop-down menu here. We don't lose any any effects, but we can only have one at a time, opposed to having three at a time in manual mode. The next one is the, the instant effects. So these are your instant effects. You just, if the crossfader's to the left, it'll do the left one. And then to the right, it'll do the right one. Now you may be asking yourself, how do I change these effects if I want different instant effects? There's no drop down menu. You're not able to do it from this screen, which I think is kind of annoying. Now also we have this really cool effect, uh, really cool samples. When I first saw this, I thought this is what the samples were gonna look like, but it is not the same in the classic or the other modes. So I was a little disappointed in that because it looks so cool. But now here's the thing. You see, we got the air horn space if we got these, your songs playing. And you can just add these samples wherever you want. It's fun. You don't have to know anything about DJing just to press the button and make a noise. There's no way to control the volume, which might be kind of annoying, especially if you plan on using air horn because it is super loud. And then what happens if you want to change these samples? DJ Pro gives us so many great samples, but in order to change these samples, again, just like with, just like with the instant effects, there's no drop down menu to do that. So we press the middle button Keep track of these air horn spaceship up here. We're gonna press the middle button, go back to classic, or you can go to pro. And then now we're in our samples and we're gonna press the drop down menu over here. And then we put the chill sample back. Now we go back to, and also this is a volume control in classic mode. So they gave us a volume control of our samples in classic mode, but in starter mode, we don't have control. And then we have to go do what I just did in order to change which sample pack we're using. So it could be really annoying, uh, but that's the way it is. Hopefully they'll just add a drop down menu over here and then add a volume slider over here in the near future. And then also like this, I had the scratch sample track has a save loop. So there'll be no way to get rid of this save loop in this mode. We'd have to go back to classic, get rid of the save loop, Go back to starter. So the job wheel works the same as it does in classic, but what I like to do a lot of the times is I'll have one song playing and I'll, and I'll do a little scratching over. I think that's a little, that's really fun to do. In this mode, you can't really do that because it's gonna trigger those automatic transitions. So you can't, if you plan on messing around with scratching and then don't use this mode. And then over here in the mixer section, we could switch to auto mix. And then we could start an auto mix. And then now this screen is just gonna do an auto mix and it's gonna auto mix whatever playlist, you, whichever playlist you have. And then once you start DJing for a while with this or you have auto mix selected, it does kind of like an animation. I don't know if you could see that, like the colors change a little bit. So this might be pretty fun just to have on auto mix and then just hang out. And if you don't really feel like DJing at the time, you could just have it on auto mix. And if you guys want to learn more about Automix, check out this video over here. Thank you.